Anthony Montgomery moves forward, and the left footer will kick it off, and we're underway. Very deep on this one. It is returnable, though, and this is Sanders from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Bounces it outside to the left, and he'll take it down at the 21-yard line. So that means we'll take a look at number three, British Columbia. That's Rab in motion. Straight ahead with Johnson. Big opening. Has five. Has close to ten. It'll be a first down for Boise. And the initial first down of the afternoon. You see the blitz coming right up the middle. Picked up well. Pass thrown complete. And that is Childs. And Childs will have the first down. And finally out of bounds at around the 27. Amaya is the man who made the stop. Says that the potentially he thinks he can kick it. From 50 yards, this is going to be a 26-yard effort, and it is a fake. And they pitch it back to the kicker, and Montgomery is not going to come close. Boy, did he get hammered. And I don't think you need to take a risk there, Ron. And didn't get a school in the BCS. Okay. Well, you could see Ian Johnson going to the sideline. We'll get a report on him. Pass is thrown, and it is caught by Rab. Did he hold on? Yes. Got a foot in bounds. Now the officials are conferring with one another just inside of the yard to pick up the first. And Denton hit behind the line of scrimmage. I don't think so. I don't either. And if, let's see for the spot. No, he's not going to have it. Yeah, and again, I, not to harp on it, but I think you just kicked the field goal there. Montgomery has done such a great job. He's made 12 straight. Second down and 12 on the two-yard loss. Screen pass to the open side of the field. Ball is loose, and it is picked up by Boise, and that's Tadman. Marty Tadman has the ball and is finally going to be tackled at around the 15-yard line. The left hash mark, this is a 28-yard attempt. Good pass, kick is on the way, and he's got it. So Boise finally goes on the scoreboard at the 259 mark. Boise three, Nevada nothing. 115 to play opening quarter. Ian Johnson in the ball game at tailback. And this pass locked in, and that's for the big guy Rab. He makes the catch and has enough for the first down out at the 40-yard line of your screen. Ian Johnson at tailback, and he hasn't touched the ball in quite a while. Childs makes the reception. Has 10 yards, takes it across midfield. Mountains, some of the foothills just outside of Boise. Branski juggling that snap and then throws it complete to Rab. Rab, hey, listen, I, I'm sorry. Nune is the man who made the reception. Bodie, absolutely one of the best when he's healthy. Hand off to Johnson, bounces outside, has five, has ten, and he'll be out of bounds at around the 17 yard line. Joe Garcia is the man who finally got an ankle at home. Quick count again. They give it to Johnson. At the two, at the one. Touchdown, finally. Across the way. Arms go up. Ryan Putnam, give him credit with an outstanding block. And Johnson just continued to weave his way, hoping that the Wolfpack can continue their successful streak. They back the day, they gave up their first point in eight quarters. Right now down by a field goal and touch. And whoa, what a hit. Did the ball stay? Or was it recovered by Boise? Waiting to the officials. Ball goes to Boise. A turnover on the hit. Austin Smith, watch the tackle that he'll make. That's Dwayne Sanders. Looks at about half a yard to pick up the first. They go straight ahead with the carry, and the tackle is made. And I'll tell you, I don't think it may be just a couple of inches, but Maga again is right there on the spot. And if you can look at where the yellow line is and where they put it down. They're going to fail this time again. Yeah, I don't think they got it. I really don't. What an excellent job by Marguerite. He did got to take this ball out to the 24-yard line. And playing behind the sticks against this Boise defense as they come with the blitz. And he is getting away from the blitz. Loses the ball, and Boise has recovered it, I believe, inside the five-yard line. King, I thought, was on the football, number 44. And they have it. First and goal for Boise. Johnson, right side, he'll score again. Tad 
Miller. Number 66, when you watch the replay, and Bishop Kelly in Boise, watch the block the number 66 throws. There he is. Again, you're just looking at the power. This is exactly what they said they were going to do all day long. On the opposite side of the front, because the ribs are one continuous circle, it can still break at the weak point. Okay, that's Johnson. Continue, Doctor. Tell us. Schumann in motion. Blitz comes off the corner. Wabanski steps up, now throws the ball, and the, with the cushion has all kind of space. Nune is there to make the reception at the 18-yard line. So they want to bounce it to the outside, but that's the exact opposite of what 41 likes to do. And he gets the handoff again and fights his way all the way down to the five-yard line, just taking the pile with him. Ezra Butler is the man at the bottom of the pile. Tailback. Is up on the left side, and it's Perretta who gets the ball, took the direct snap, and he'll take it in to score. Who does he think he is, Darren McFadden? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, how many teams in this country have we seen that are uh, nothing is unique? Is yeah. why not do this? Because the defense is trying to outnumber you. They're trying to put more people. Has, has given Boise State an excellent field position. 34 of the 50. The Nevada side of the field. Touchdown, Nune. Garcia trying to cover, but Legadu had a leg up on him, and he scores the easy touchdown. As again, the offensive line just they make it easy for Zabransky to stand there and go through his uh, rotation as far as the receivers. Well, and again, he finds what he likes on the outside. The safety was so late. The safety just hung inside. It's so easy. Third down, line to make is out to the 34 for Boise. Right now, that I would think they just want to run some clock to pick the throw a long pass, have it complete to James. Dryston with a good second effort. And the senior out of Phoenix finally stopped by Scott Garrison, but he'll back in. Then we would have had six different non-BCS teams play in the game. Hot thrown with an interception, and he's going to take it into the end zone. And Nevada with another takeaway is on the board with 252 to play. A good day for football, particularly for Boise fans, has not been so great for Nevada. Good play action, but the pass comes complete to Rab. Rab is really an impressive. You notice that uh, the Johnson family have taken those sunshades off. It's starting to get cold in this stadium. Far sideline, the ball there. A lot of to and and fro. He caught that football. Jeremy Childs was being was being uh, defended by Paul Pratt. Seventh play of the drive. Started back at the 20. You know, give it to Johnson again, and he will break through for the touchdown. Done those for a number of years, and those kids, uh, not as many scholarships, what have you. Big hole, and here we go with Hubbard. He's off to the races. They try to knock the ball away from him. Kyle Wilson does, and unable to do so. And the ball did come loose, and they're going to give it back to Boise. What an excellent play by Kyle Wilson. 48 yards on the carry, and I said he tried to knock it away. I didn't see it come out. He must have taken it clean from him, Ron. Wilson's just a freshman. Watch as he goes to hammer this ball. See if he just takes it clean away. Winds up, takes it right away. That's what exactly an excellent. What it, and the knee hadn't come down. What an excellent play by Wilson. He did a great job, too. He's close to a 10 yard run by Benton here. And in fact, they may see some interest even from other games, but I think it's quite likely they could end up in the Valley of the Sun in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl with the Big 12 champion. Now, the BCS requires 17,500 tickets, but they got about 17,000 here from Boise today. I understand they're going to be standing in line for tickets in Boise, Idaho. Is that a margarita they're going to dump on his head for the Fiesta Bowl? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. And uh, look at the coaches being distracted and they got him. A couple of Comancheros there. <laughs> Oh, they're putting the hat off. 
Draw play. Pitt has five, has ten. Tay Pitt's going to wind up with a very good afternoon on just this sequence alone. Devon Walker making the tackle, and they've earned it. They went up against a very stout Nevada defense today, a ball club that uh, had several top five situations as far as takeaway categories. And right now, that's the final play of the ball game. They do not have to snap it again. Clock is about to hit 20 seconds, and it'll be Boise State in a position to get a BCS bid as a non-BCS team. And some of their faithful, not some, now several thousand, appear to be coming on the field because there are a lot of them down here. Cannon sounds as no time is showing on the clock. And I hope that everything will remain calm. And although this is the home stadium in Nevada. These guys deserve this celebration. Let's go down to the sideline. Jerry Punch with head coach Peterson. Coach, after an emotional week, what was the key to your team's dominating performance here today? Well, our defense. Those guys stepped up and answered every every uh, every second. They were unbelievable. They played hard, and many times these guys get challenged. They'd always come through. How would you characterize the play of Ian Johnson today? He's a warrior. You know, the kid, I tell you, he's as tough as they come, and our O-line gives him a chance, and he's an awesome player. What does this win, this 12-0 season, now, now pending BCS Bowl bid, do for you and your program? Well, I think it speaks a lot about where the program is and where it's gone and what all the people in the past that have got it to this point. Uh, you know, I'm just happy for everybody that all the hard work we put in and finally maybe get a shot to get somewhere warm. Hey, Coach, now the key question, do you like Tostitos? Love them. Hey, there's some folks behind us that want to talk to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Guys? Okay, Doug, thanks very much. We are going to go to a break, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. Final score, Boise 38 and Nevada 7. Boise State 12 and 0 on the season. We'll be right back. So we are back, and uh, Ian Johnson continues to be uh, carried off the field. In fact, let's go down to the sideline, and Doc Bunch is with uh, Ian Johnson. I think the sign behind Ian Johnson says it all as they are celebrating the WAC championship again. Ian, congratulations. What was this day like for you to get back in a uniform having been away for two and a half weeks? I mean, I just want to get out here and do everything I could for my team. They said, hey, second half, we need to turn it up. I got out here, forgot about the ribs, forgot about the longest nothing. These guys work hard, I'm gonna work just as hard for them. It looked like as the game went on, you got a little bit stronger. What were the ribs like early on as opposed to the fourth quarter? The ribs feel fine. I mean, I played with broken ribs before. The only thing, it was getting back used to being in shape. I mean, taking a week off without the lungs, it hurts, but I mean, once you get there, coaches are behind you, everyone's behind you, say, hey, let's do it. You forget about the lungs, you don't get tired anymore. We were questioning why you were still playing in the second half with you guys up so much. Did you want to be on the field? I, oh, I want to be in the field. I mean, there's some, there's some linemen on this team that really, really mean a lot to them this game, and I wanted to stay with them as much as I could. What does this win and now possibly the BCS Bowl bid mean to you and the players on this uh, Bronco team? This means everything on our pyramid is done. We've had so many goals now, and we've knocked off every single one. We've done every single thing we've been told. Our coaches told us, hey, if you listen to us, we'll get you BCS. We're there now, baby. What will you do in the Fiesta Bowl? What will we do? We're going to go out there and play the same intensity we always do and go out there and win another game. I think they're pretty excited down here, Ron. I think they are. Jerry, be careful down there. Fans are getting a little more reckless than they have been. Final score is Boise 38 and Nevada 7. Next up on ESPN2, it's College Football Scoreboard.
up over there? Okay. He's just partying over yeah. there.